okay, I'm extraordinarily excited about this. A post on the Ubuntu forum says that Ubuntu 10.04 Alpha 3 supports the iPhone. Welcome to This Week in Linux. <laughs> So what I'm going to do here, I'm running a virtual box of the Ubuntu 10.04 Alpha 3 that I just downloaded. It's straight out of the box. I have only run it one time before. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to come down here to the bottom to the USB devices. I right click on that. I tell it connect my iPhone because it is connected to my Fedora laptop right now. And you'll see it pops up and says you have just inserted a medium with digital photos. And in the background it says you've inserted a digital audio player. So I'm not going to look at the photos, that's been available for a long time now, but a digital audio player, open Rhythmbox, is the default action. So I'm going to open Rhythmbox. For some reason it's opening that uh, digital photos thing twice. I'm sure I if they end up making it to production with this iPhone capability, they'll probably remove that. But let's see, Rhythmbox just opened. And you'll see here on the side, Jakey Zero's iPhone. That's my traditional username. So when I click on it, you'll see all of my artists are listed, all the tracks that are on my on my iPhone itself are listed by whoever I want to list it by. It looks a little bit like iTunes, but it looks a lot like traditional rhythm box. So if I select like the Black Eyed Peas, it gives you the the al album accordingly. Okay, another thing I've noticed about this, if I right click on my device itself and go to properties, it will tell me the volume usage, the amount of uh, available space and all that, number of tracks on it, the name which you can change here I believe, uh, and if you go to advanced it tells you the mount point. So you see it's GVFS, it's not using the uh, libgpod, it's, uh, it's actually using GVFS to do it. It's got a database version and the audio format supported. Well I've tried several times at this point and I've not been able to actually add any any music to the iPhone. Uh, that might be something that's coming in the upcoming. If you've actually done this successful, please let me know. But uh, for now, it's pretty cool that you can actually connect to your iPhone. Let's see if we can copy music back over. Transferring track. Now we don't want to search for a plugin yet. Hmm. But the good thing is, I just don't have the GStreamer plugin that's on this VirtualBox yet. But it does look like you can actually copy music from your phone. Uh, I'd say in, a, in an upcoming release, you'll be able to actually copy to it. Hopefully this functionality makes it to Ubuntu 10.04. If nothing else, it will make me keep a VirtualBox running, or at least a separate machine. I've got several computers here that I could run it on. That's all for now. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.